Hackers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having the best day ever. Okay, I, this is ridiculous. This is honestly ridiculous. Okay, so Trisha Paytas, sorry. <laughs> Kit guy just texted me, so we're just, okay, do, 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 do. okay. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. okay. <laughs> Sorry, so unprofessional. Could you imagine, like, a nine-to-five job? <laughs> you're sitting down with your boss, and you're giving them a pitch, and just halfway through it, your face drops, and you're like, so I'm thinking about doing the... Sorry, I'm just texting this <laughs> uh, Thank you for allowing me to be able to do that. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> this is ridiculous with Trisha Paytas. So, and it's not a laughing matter. Well, it could be from being... Completely ironic and just going against everything Georgia Paytas has ever put out there on the internet. So, with that being said, I'm seeing this clip go literally doing the rounds on Twitter and Instagram of Trisha Paytas talking about like cancel culture and accountability culture. And it is very interesting to say the least. Now, we remember Trisha Paytas, social media warrior. Social media warrior, accountability warrior. Trisha will speak up for everyone. Accountability strikes, Trisha Paytas comes in. Like this has literally been the past year on the internet and literally the past year. This time last year, this kind of started with Trisha kind of speaking up in defense or against, is that the same thing? In defense, supporting someone or against? No, I think it's two different things. I struggled in school. Clearly, with all these people who needed accountability given to them. And now, over the past couple of weeks, Trisha Paytas has seemingly got the switch flipped. And that has now been done to them. And that is not something that Trisha seems to like. So, in this clip, Trisha is with Moses, which again is very, very interesting to be doing videos with Moses recently, considering the endless slew of allegations against Moses. Like, not even the ones with Trisha, it's like them both doubling down together, like power in numbers, except it's both of them against the internet at this rate. So Trisha is talking about that there's a scandal with Dear Evan Hansen. That part of the context is really not needed because the clip in which <laughs> Trisha is showing is basically just speaking against accountability. I don't know what happened with Dear Evan Hansen. I know that the movie is apparently the worst thing ever. They have like a older man the CGI to look like a younger boy or something like that. Like that part does not matter about the story because Trisha just briefly mentions it as a way of giving context to hating and shitting on accountability culture. And now, if any other YouTuber was to do this, right, it would almost make sense, you know what I mean? Like, if Tana was to speak about accountability culture, we're like, you know what, fair play. Like, we don't agree with what you're saying, but you get called out a lot or whatever. If Nikita Dragon, Nikita, you never really listen to the accountability anyway, so you speaking up about it kind of makes sense. But for Trisha Paytas, the spokesperson of accountability on YouTube for, for the longest time, to speak up about how accountability culture is like stupid and shouldn't be a thing and to allow people to grow and all like this, it's like, baby, this only applies whenever it's not about you, and we're all seeing that, and it looks so ridiculous on your end. So, I'm gonna pull up this video, and it is two minutes long. Now again, there are gonna be points where I just have to stop to take in the overwhelming sense of irony here, but this is Trisha with Moses talking about accountability culture. This video is new, by the way, so applies in today for what Trisha is trying to tell us, so. With that being said, what is that one's fascination with like keeping people accountable these days? Honestly, like just some things you just need to lie. Like I Perfect! That's all we needed to hear, Trisha. So in that five seconds, we hear Trisha say, why do we need accountability culture? And it's better to just lie. Which I think we could have guessed about Trisha at this stage, but it's <laughs> Sorry, I just needed to... What is that much fascination with like keeping people accountable these days? Honestly, like just some things you just need to lie. Like I was telling about this, this is something that he should have just kept the lie going because like it just, it made him awful, it made the family feel awful, like... But... I mean, I know what you're saying, gonna say, but... Cause the no, email... but I just, no, but I think that when he, when he came clean, he basically, there was nothing else for him to face because, right, like he hit the bottom. Everyone thought, the worst of him. And from there, he could only go up, and it made him strong. Wait, on what part everyone thought the worst of him? After he 
after he confessed to lying. Yeah, but before that, no one thought bad of him. So then we have Trisha Paytas. Again, please educate me in the comments below. I was searching up Dear Evan Hansen literally on Twitter, and I was just finding people shitting on the movie. I don't know what they're talking about here whatsoever. But I feel like we don't need to necessarily know because we just have Trisha Paytas relating to Moses saying about people were upset with him lying. So Trisha's like, just lie and have no one ever be angry. You know, people only get angry when they find out that you're lying. Bravo, Trisha. Bravo. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Did we just hear that? Trisha's like, yeah, like, that's why you don't tell people you're lying. Trisha, this is not good to say online while you're being accused of what you're being accused of. No, but not the sitting in silence. Sorry, I'm not analyzing this further. The beginning, nobody knew he existed. Mm -hmm. Then suddenly it became this like, oh my god, we've got to get this amazing speech and Connor's friend. And then he dropped down to he's a liar. He made all this up. What a scumbag. But then he faced that, and I think that was made him stronger at the end. What? What is that from fascination with like? But this is again, I know, and everyone's like, "Wow, Trisha would defend a liar," but like, you have to look at what. what? So Trisha is acknowledging there that people are like, "Oh, Trisha defending a liar." Like how ironic that is, and Trisha's like, "Oh, people are gonna say yes." Sorry. It's 11 p.m. I'm gonna. Sorry, neighbors. Trisha literally just said like everyone's argument that they can make against Trisha and Trisha said isn't like oh people are gonna say this yes yes we are gonna say that because you, they, uh, Trisha what I honestly could never imagine that this time two months ago we would ever have a video of Trisha sitting with Moses saying this stuff lying like he actually was like lying because he was trying to tell people and then he's like honestly they just need this comfort right now they need to have a connection to connor and right. at the end by the end everyone won right because at the end the parents got the video of the kid the orchard was there the sister but like he gave them that gift and i think that what does what is the context of this dear Ev everyone's sending me this clip saying about how it's about dear evan hansen dear evan hansen Connor. Dear Evan Hansen. Connor. The. Uh, excuse my ignorance. Please educate me below what the context of this is. However, from what they're saying, it's very much so uh, them being like people lying. We don't care. People wanting accountability. We don't care. Like relating it back to themselves. No, if the context of that clip is like a really bad context, like as in something really bad happened and they're relating it to themselves, awful. If it's something just random and they're relating it to themselves, awful. There's like, why are you making this about accountability and like cancel culture and like you? And like, it's so ironic, like, people will say I'm so, I'm so like, in the wrong for saying this, whatever. <laughs> I don't even, like... What? Charles, they did appreciate it at the end. Yeah, I guess, I don't know. This is a situation where I was, I was really, like, bummed. But this is a then, I know, and everyone's like, wow, Trisha would defend a liar, but, like... But, like, what a horrible person. Like, this is a horrible person. But it's not a horrible person, it's someone who's right. anxiety that has gotten in a bad situation, but he's not a bad person, and that's what people need to know. Okay. Without me knowing the full context, Trisha has just excused someone being a bad person due to them having anxiety. So what I'm taking from that is complete irony that Trisha Paytas was coming for Scotty Sire for using his anxiety about being a bad person. Trisha said that Trisha hates when Gabby does that. So whatever argument Trisha is trying to make here beyond relating it to themselves has just used an argument that they've used against someone else towards them. The intentions were good. The outcome was good. That's why I feel it when he admitted to lying, he became a good character again. And then, oh, he was forgiven. But before that, I was like, mm, he can't get out of this situation. No, but that's a real human. A real human sometimes makes bad decisions and that doesn't mean they're a bad person. We are seeing a different side of Trisha. No more accountability, Annie. We are getting forgiveness, Fiona. I actually don't know literally where that came from. But no, right? Could you imagine Trisha one month ago saying, everybody makes mistakes, 
Everybody has those days. Everybody knows what, what I'm talking about. Everybody, like, really? All it took was for it to come back to Trisha? All right, all right. Growth. Like, come so hard on him, but I think that's like the first part of the character that's like real. Like, Alright, so Trisha loves cancel culture until it's towards them or someone they like. Alright, okay, so the responses to this video have obviously been horrible, with people just doubling down on Trisha doubling down on this. So, for example, people are saying that. Trisha is saying, what is everyone's fascination with keeping people accountable? Like, that's all they've done for the past six months. Uh, Trisha also said, some things you just need to lie about. Are we not remembering that? Someone said, it's sad how Moses can't have a different opinion than her. Someone said, Trisha related to a movie about someone lying about a DEAD person by saying that she thinks it's one of those lies that they should have kept on forever and that the main character should have never came clean. Interesting. Where have I heard this before with Trisha covering lies and stuff? So... All right, there's the context, obviously about the movie, and Trisha's relating that intense situation to like, <laughs> them, which is laughing out of shocked. You can tell Trisha was going hard to defend Evan because she really sees herself in him, especially around this mark. She literally admitted that you, ca uh, that you shouldn't admit certain lies, and especially when Moses said, when he admitting to lying, he became a good character again and all was forgiven. The look on Trisha's face, which we just watched in terms of, Trisha's like, no Moses, we don't come clean about our lives. Look what happens. Like, one of the problems with you, Trisha, is you never take accountability. You never apologize when you're wrong and you always play the victim. So people are not on the side of Trisha whatsoever. And now, okay, this is just something that was inevitable to happen when Trisha lost control of people coming for them and coming for Moses that obviously there was going to be a shift in we're seeing Trisha say I'm never going to talk about drama again I'm never going to talk about other people Trisha says you don't know what's going on in other people's lives like I I've had it done to me now which is interesting because Trisha has had this done to them before Trisha has been cancelled whatever weight that word even fucking means so many times Trisha has been called out so many times Trisha has been called a liar so many times manipulative exploitative whatever all these times However, all of those things have seemingly been about things that Trisha has been doing to provoke an action. However, this time we're seeing people dig into, you know, things about Trisha, things about Moses. So now is whenever Trisha's like, you know what? Everybody makes mistakes. I'm done. And I'm never talking about someone else. We've all been saying in the comments how long before Trisha talks about someone again. Again, that is up for debate. A lot of people were like, give it until Christmas. A lot of people were like, give it until next week. There has been a lot of happening, you know, H3 have their new podcast, Trisha didn't speak about it, David Dobrik was exposed, Trisha didn't speak about it. However, people were like, oh, Trisha's really maturing. Trisha cannot speak up right now. Trisha will not be able to be even listened to by anyone online right now in terms of holding people accountable. And this clip is just further adding the seasoning on top of Trisha being like, who cares about accountability culture anyway? And my final, final, final point. I'm gonna take a sip before that. My final point. Buckle up. Trisha has gotten interviewed multiple times. Trisha has said multiple times, I've been on YouTube a long time and I'm not leaving. One statement. And I'm always gonna be around because I always am able to latch onto things. I'm always able to call people out. So, Trisha said that they're not gonna do that anymore. However, Trisha has also self-admittedly admitted, do you say them two words together? I don't know. That they've remained online for so long because they're able to get involved in things. We saw that with the Charlie D'Amelio thing, the James Charles thing, the Shane thing, the Ryland thing, the Jeffrey thing. How long is that going to hold up for? It's literally a guessing game. But for the first time we're seeing Trisha double down on I'm done with calling people out. Everyone lies. Everyone needs accountability. Or nobody needs accountability. Everyone lies though and should. What? What a, what a 180. What a complete character change. I, I, I literally don't even have it in me to watch that clip again. I want to know what your opinion is though. It's just so weird and hypocritical. 
Alright, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one. I love you. <laughs> Bye. Remember guys, we all lie. We're all liars. We're all awful people. But only if Trisha Paytas likes you. You can be forgiven. If not, exposed videos made on you. <laughs>